Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on and film a quick video for you. It's a two-in-one hair and makeup tutorial. So the hair is a soft, wavy curl. That's sort of a polished look, but kind of easy going at the same time. Very simple, so that's going to be the first part of the video. And then the second part is a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. Just a very quick summary look, really easy, gloss, sunscreen and yeah I just wanted to hit all the notes for you on this video I hope you enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you let me know what you think down in the comments below all right let's jump into it all right so this is third day hair it's definitely time for some dry shampoo I'm starting with my natural hair texture and I don't really have any styling product in it just a little bit of leave-in conditioner from the other day so for my dry shampoo I'm using one of my absolute favorites this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white dry shampoo the black scent is actually my favorite but this one is still amazing it still does the job and this is just a really good dry shampoo because it doesn't leave too much residue I find but it still like soaks up all the oil and makes your hair look and feel nice and clean so I'm going to start by spraying this in my roots and I'm going to show you that process. By the way, sorry if the lighting in this is like fluctuating a lot. I'm using mostly natural light and the sun keeps going behind the clouds. So I, I apologize. Right now it's really bright, but hopefully it will stay this way. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I sprayed the dry shampoo all around my roots of my hair. So I basically separate my hair about every inch. So I go at my at my part and then one inch over, one inch over, etc. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to get it distributed nicely if you want to soak up the oil all over. So I'm going to leave this in for a minute or two while I put another product in it. So I've been using this Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth Flat Iron Express. Um, this is for like difficult to straighten hair, kind of unruly hair. I find that it basically just gives my hair a nice smooth effect. It takes away some of the frizz because you can tell I got frizzy hair. <laughs> it's always been frizzy. So I definitely need something to help me. So um, a lot of times I use an oil and some other times I use this. So I just wanted to use this today and I'm basically going to work this from like about my chin all the way down to the roots. I don't like need it all over the top of my hair. the product distributed in my hair I want to comb it out make sure that the dry shampoo isn't just at the roots but that it kind of falls a little bit more in the hair so what I'm gonna do is just brush that out using a tangle teaser This is where my hair is now. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the Flat Iron Express to my hair because it will just kind of weigh down some of the frizz. Um, you know, it just depends. If your hair is super dry like mine, it can take the extra product. But if you have really fine hair that's not coarse like I have, then I probably wouldn't recommend doing this and adding the additional product in there. You just don't need it. Since I have so much hair, I always have to work in sections. So I like to start about an inch above my ear, kind of like at my temple area, right alongside my eyebrows, and I just go all the way back, and then I clip the top section up. So the curling iron I use to get a nice, polished, wavy curl is this one right here. This is a Hot Tools one and a half inch curling iron. I highly recommend this if you have really long hair. If you have shoulder length hair or shorter, I would say use a smaller barrel for sure. Maybe even if you have longer hair too, this is just going to be too big and your hair is probably not going to achieve the same look. So I would go for maybe something like one and a quarter. That's just my suggestion, take it or leave it, but that is what I recommend because when I had shorter hair, I was not able to use this for years. It just kind of gave my hair a funny look. So I'm going to be working with one to two inch sections and what I do is I start closest to my ear and I am going to do all the curls facing outward. So I'm just twisting my hair around the barrel, closing the clamp, and then what I actually do is I spin the curling iron until all of the hair is around the barrel. So this gives it a nice polished look and it makes sure that it heats up the entire curl. And then I just let it fall. Every curl is gonna go away from my face. So the curls on the left side are going to be curled out this way and the curls on the right side are gonna be curled out the other way. So go ahead and just follow along and I hope it's pretty easy for you.
layer one is done. Many more layers to go. This time I'm sectioning my hair at the tops of my temples, going all the way back and clipping this top section up. the most hair and what takes the absolute longest so I section these off just one side at a time so what I'm gonna do is I usually start over here on the left side for some reason I go kind of right above the middle of my eyebrow and I go all the way back and I just work with this part first and I'm gonna pin this part up sectioning right from the center of my forehead all the way back. here above the middle of my right eyebrow so I'm going to just section that off now and get my part and I am going to curl this bit first is my last section here for whatever reason I always work from the back of my head to the front when I just do this section everything else I've done you've seen that I go from the front of my head to the back so I don't know don't ask that's just how I do it but you don't feel obligated to do it this way just do whatever works and feels best for you finish the curls and the most important part I promise you this is flipping your hair upside down shaking it like crazy going through it with your fingers not necessarily combing through them but just shaking your hair at the roots with your fingertips that is key to this hairstyle I promise okay so basically everything is done the only thing left to do is do a little hairspray anything will work honestly this is just what I have on hand this is the Garnier Fructis full control anti-humidity hairspray <laughs> and um, I am just going to spray this all over not too much all right so now that I'm officially done with the hair I'm going to do a little glamour spin and show you the final result all right was that cheesy enough for you <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to go wash my hands, get the hair products off my hands, and then we're gonna jump into the makeup. Okay, so this makeup look is going to be very quick and simple. It takes five to 10 minutes. It doesn't use too many brushes. It focuses a lot on the skin. Very non-technical. Anyone can do this and you can totally adapt it to however you want to because it's very minimal makeup. Before I start though, I just wanna say that now that the sun is out, it is super important to be wearing your sunscreen all over any exposed skin. You should really be wearing it all year round, but now that the sun is out, I'm just reminded to tell you that it's really, really important to protect your skin um, for so many reasons. So, whether that's putting a base down now on any exposed skin or on your face, whether that's a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it or a flat out sunscreen, do whatever works for you. I'm actually going to be using a setting spray here at the end that uses some sunscreen and that's how I'm going to get my coverage for the day. Since it's hot and I already have oily skin, it's super important that I make a blast all day. So I'm going to be using my Nivea Men's Sensitive Aftershave Balm and rubbing it all over my face. It feels very refreshing and you want to stop rubbing it in when it feels a little bit tacky and it doesn't really have a slip to it anymore. So instead of foundation, I'm actually going to be using BB cream today and this is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I really like this because it gives my skin a nice matte finish. So this foundation is really cool because it comes out white like this and I'm going to show you as you rub it in, you break the little pigment beads in there and it blends into your skin. This is kind of cool. So I am going to just put this in the palm of my hand, rub it in, and slather it all over my face. Okay, so I have that base down and I'm just going to add a little bit more wherever I feel like I need more coverage. So that's here on my cheek and also on the forehead where I have quite a bit of discoloration lately. For my concealer, I'm using this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer and I'm in the shade Fair Light and I'm just going to be applying a little bit of this, not as much as I normally do. But first I'm going to use my fingers just to blend this out. And then I'm gonna go in with a brush to make sure it is nice and flawless. And I'm gonna take this up onto my eyelid as well. Okay, now that the product is distributed, I'm using my Zoeva 110 Face Shape Brush. It's a little dome brush like this, very densely packed, and I am going underneath the eyes and just swirling it around. I want it to look obviously as skin-like and as natural as possible. So I don't mind moving this pigment around. I'm not necessarily looking for coverage, I'm looking for brightness. <music> to bronze my entire face up, I'm using my Soleil Tende Chanel and this is a cream bronzer. I've already said multiple times that an incredible dupe for this is the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer. You can get it done at the drugstore, let me tell you. This is so much less expensive than the Chanel. I just haven't used it in a while, so I wanted to use it. To do this, I'm using my Morphe M439 brush. You can see it's also sort of like a dome-shaped brush. Very densely packed, but it's more of like a foundation brush. So I'm just going to swirl the brush in here, pick up some product, and go to town. I'm basically going to be going around my whole face. I am not contouring with this. I am just bronzing the crap out of my skin. Making sure you bring it all the way down onto the neck too. Okay, now my whole face is bronzed. Basically the only part of my face I didn't touch was this area right here, which you want the most light to be kind of reflecting off of anyway. So I just wanted to avoid that spot. To give my face an all over glow, I'm using my absolute favorite cream highlighter. This is the Estee Edit Flash Illuminator and this is in the shade Morning Light. I'm going to just pump some of this out on the back of my hand, use a damp beauty sponge and put it 
basically wherever I want it. So I like to focus on top of the cheekbones, above the eyebrow, keep it both nose, chin, and anywhere else you want to put it. Do you see that? How beautiful and skin-like is that? Oh my gosh, this side like, compared to this, it's incredible. Like I, I am so impressed with this product. It's so good and no one else talks about it. It's amazing. I am just going to do the tiniest little bit of spot correcting here using my Maybelline Fit Me. Gonna hit this bad boy right here. Okay, so I'm done with my cream products, so I'm going to set everything, and first I'm going to use this NYX color correcting powder in the shade Banana, and I'm going to be using a little Morphe M501 brush to get all around my eye area. To set the rest of my face, I'm using this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. This is the most lightweight powder I've ever used, so really a little bit goes a long way. Okay, the brows for this are so easy. I am using this Ofra Eyebrow Pencil, and I think this is the universal shade. And what I'm going to do is drag the brow pencil on the underside of my brows, just tracing a line so I can get some definition. And then I'm going to brush that up using a spoolie. And then I'm going to use the tiniest little bit just at the top high point of my brow too. And then bring it down towards the tail and of course brush that out as well. Now I'm just going to sharpen up the tail. You could literally be done with the brows right here. I'm just going to do one more little step to make them hold and look super duper natural. But look how clean, defined, and easy that was. A piece of cake. And it works with this pencil because it's so waxy that the color distributes really easily when you use a spoolie to comb it through. So all the writing is worn off of this, but I'm pretty sure it's called the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. It's a little mascara for your eyebrows, and I am just going to brush all my eyebrow hairs up with this and set them into place. For the eyes, we're just going to do some gold glitter, and this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in this shade. Crimper. I'm not sure if this is still available. Actually, I have to check, but they have so many shades all the time. I'm positive you can find something like this if this is no longer there. So I'm just going to use my ring finger and pop this on the lid. I'm bringing this all the way up to my brow bone. I'm not touching my eyebrow, but I'm getting pretty close. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit and we're gonna just pack a little bit more closer to the lash line. So on a little Sigma lid shader brush, I'm just going to lay this down close to the lash line, up to the crease, and then I'm also going to take it on the inner corner. Okay, now on the lower lash line, I'm using another ColourPop shadow and this is in the shade Party Girl. It is a really kind of like neutral, mauve toned pink. I'm going to use a pencil brush for this and smudge this along the lower lash line. This just adds a really soft pink glow and I think it's beautiful. It's not showing up as well as I would like on camera, but I can see it in person and I really like it. I'm going to start off by using some little black primer on my lashes. This is from Estee Lauder by the way, I should have said that. Um, I love this, I raved about this in my last video, it's amazing. And now I'm just going over top of that with my Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Two coats of this top and bottom. 
Okay, so that's it for the eyes. I just wanted them to look very fresh and awake, and I think we've accomplished that. So now for some highlight and some additional glow, I'm using this NYX Illuminating Palette. This is called the Strobe of Genius Palette, and there are so many beautiful colors in here. What to choose? Okay, so I am going to be using this color and this color right here, mixing them together with my Zoeva 103 Defined Buffer Brush. And let's get to glowing. For blush, I'm going with this one from Tarte. This is in the shade Seduce. It is one of their new nude blushes. And using a Morphe E4, I'm going to put this on my cheeks. I'm making sure that I get this color nice and high up, so I'm almost going over my highlight. This gives my face a little bit more of a flushed look. For the lips, I'm using this Estee Edit The Barest Contour Lip Liner, and I'm in the shade 02 in the flesh. And then for something that probably isn't necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway, I'm using this um, The Barest Lip Color from the Estee Edit as well. This is also in In the Flesh. Going over that. And then, one more step. How cute is this? <laughs> this is the Estee Edit Cocoa Balm in Cocoa Berry. It is a coconut oil infused lip balm and you squeeze the product out of the top here and this is like squishy. How cute is that? So anyway, I'm just going to apply this all over. I just picked this up the other day and it is so hydrating. It tastes and smells delicious and it's not sticky at all, but it does stick to the lips. Isn't that so pretty and glossy? So that is it for the makeup look. To set everything in place, I'm using this adorable little travel size version of this setting spray. This is from Supergoop, and it is called the Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary Broad Spectrum Sunscreen with SPF 50. And it says, matte finish three in one, sets makeup, controls oil, and delivers UV photo aging protection. And if you can hear a dog barking in the background, that's Bam Bam. <laughs> So I'm gonna shake it up and it has a super satisfying sound and I'm gonna spray it. What's really cool about this is it dries instantly. It just like sucks into your skin. All right guys, so that sums up everything for this two in one makeup and hair tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it. This is kind of fun for me getting to do both at once. I did one makeup and hair tutorial a while ago, um, but I wanted to do something again. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you watching this video. So thank you truly from the bottom of my heart. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you want other people to see it as well. And yeah, I just can't thank you enough. So have a wonderful and beautiful day. I will see you guys very, very soon in another video. Bye.